In this video, I'm going to show you how to import data into StatCrunch. It's really easy. First of all, you need an Excel file, um, preferably an Excel file. You put your uh, variable names on the top row, and then you put your data underneath that, each column. So in this case, I have the instructor's initials, I got the course type, I got their um, score values, and so forth. Okay, everything is here for me to use for my data set. So I'm going to quit this and I'm going to go to StatCrunch now. Okay, so I'm in StatCrunch. Uh, in this case, you can see we are here in the My Stat Crunch section. So if you click on that, you should have something similar to this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on My Data. Here, you'll be able to choose from a different variety of ways to enter data. You can use a Google Drive, you can paste your data and so forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my computer to grab the data. So I clicked on my computer and now it says to drag or to choose the file that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my data. Okay, now it's processing. It's showing me what it's going to do. Now notice that the first row is giving me the variable names, perfect. And I'm gonna give it a different name. I'm gonna say something like um, worksheet one, fall 2016. Okay. Now I scroll all the way in the bottom and I click on load file. Takes a little while for it to load, and there it is. Now, instead of being in Excel, we have it in StatCrunch, and now we have all the variables and the data. So, how do I know it's saved in here? Well, we can always go back to StatCrunch, click on My StatCrunch, My Data, and there it is, Worksheet 1. So, if I click on that, it takes me back to the data set.